Kristen Myberg and I'm with Rosemary Cake Bread of Gallica. So tell me a little bit about Gallica. Well, I'm very happy to, um, to be here with you today. Gallica is a brand, it's a label that I started in 2007 and it was a, it's a dream um, that I really wanted to be able to make my own wine. So um, I began making some Cabernet in 2007, or just a little bit of Cabernet, and um, I'm today making two red wines, Cabernet and a little bit of Grenache. I've um, been uh, working in the wine industry since I was literally about 19 years old. I've got a job um, in Sonoma, actually, at uh, Sebastiani Vineyards, working on a bottling line when I was 19, and I've just worked my way up. I went to UC Davis to school, and. Uh, got my first job at Inglenook Winery, um, making Cabernet, or helping to be mm. one of the numerous people making Cabernet, in 1979, and uh, just uh, continued to uh, work in the place that I really love, and make wines that I really love, and um, I'm still doing it today. You know, there aren't uh, so many people that have watched this evolution of Napa. I mean, I remember your husband's family vin mm -hmm. uh, winery, uh, when I was younger mm -hmm. and uh, as one of the early early strong quality wines produced out of Napa. I mean, you've seen so much change. What has struck you about the changes in Napa over the years? I have seen change. Um, um, most of it is very positive. Um, I'd like to see a little less traffic, that's for sure, <laughs> as many people would. But I think um, we're just continuing to make uh, better and better wines in Napa. And um, we're focusing on varietals that are meant to be planted mm. in Napa, and I think uh, Cabernet Sauvignon really speaks to that. Mm. Yeah. Now, when you make your Cabernet, you have a punch down program that's usually affiliated with Pinot. So, mm. why'd you make that choice? Um, it's true, I punch down a lot for Cabernet, and I do it intentionally because I, the wine, the style of wine that I really like and the, what I really want to make are wines that are very refined and aren't really pronounced tannic wines. I really want wines that are elegant and softer, and I feel I can really get that with uh, punching down, hand punch downs, and that's how I, I, I try to achieve that. And um, Gallica, the name, where does that come from? It's a botanical name. So I've been a student of perfume production, um, mainly because for the sensory aspects of it for a number of years. And Rosa Gallica is a species of rose. Oh, that, you scared uh, me for a moment. I thought, is this a species of vine? I don't know. No. <laughs> so it's, it's roses. Rose. It's okay. roses, yeah. Okay. yeah. Tell me how you met Bruce. <laughs> I met Bruce, we were both students at UC Davis, um, but I met Bruce at the Oakville Grocery Store in, oh, that's uh, awesome. <laughs> in Oakville, California. We were both buying sandwiches, and as Bruce would say, even though we were students at Davis, um, I was usually the studious one sitting at the front <laughs> of, the, of the class, and he was at the back of the class. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but um, um, a long marriage. We've been married for, um, I guess 31 years. Now. Well, congratulations. So. <laughs> how do you decide which, uh, say you have an anniversary dinner, how do you decide whose wine to drink? Neither of ours. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you've been married 31 years. Exactly. <laughs> Precisely. Well, mm -hmm. it's lovely to spend time with you, yes, and I look forward thank to you. tasting the wines uh -huh. today. Well, thank you, Deborah. <laughs>